Hike Central provides a very robust health monitoring system. At first glance, it might look like you're just seeing a simple overall health picture of the system. However, a closer look will show that there's a lot more information and functionality than actually meets the eye. The health monitoring system allows us to monitor the status of VSM servers, recording servers, streaming servers, connected cameras, doors, UVSSs, coding devices, decoding devices, access control devices, and virtually every device connected to your Hike Central system. Let's take a look at the health monitoring overview page. We can do this via control client by simply selecting from the dashboard the health monitoring icon. Once selected, we'll come initially to the overview page which gives us our camera status, our VSM service status, our encoding device status, decoding device and recording server. And this window will change depending on the different components that you have connected. For instance, if you have a fully populated system, you might see a health monitoring overview page that looks like this. Notice it contains camera status, door status, UVSS, remote sites, video surveillance management service, recording servers, streaming servers, encoding devices, access control devices, and decoding devices. So the window will populate based on the devices that you have connected to your Height Central system. In our system, our demo system that we have set up right now, these are the devices that we have connected. Let's take a look at how these different features function within the health monitoring window. Let's start off with camera status. So across the top menu bar, we see that the total number of cameras connected is 73. I can actually drill down into the total number of cameras and I get a cameras listing page. In this case, if I look in the lower right hand corner, I see that this is actually the first of four pages. So I can scroll through the pages or I could go directly to the last page or I could enter a number and jump to that page as well. After I'm done doing that, if I want to get back to the overall status, I'm going to select this icon here, which looks sort of like a tachometer in a car. And this brings me back to the overview page. So some more information in the camera status section. I can see that I actually have 43 abnormalities occurring right now out of my 73 entities. Well, that's of course because this is a demo system and many people have access to it and play around with it. But I can still, again, drill down into my 43 abnormalities and see everything that's showing abnormal. And in this case, there are actually two pages of abnormalities. Heading back to the overview page, it breaks it down for me right here. Cameras offline, video loss, communication exceptions, recording exceptions, or there's no recording schedule set up for a camera. If again, I want to drill down to those specific items, I can click in this case on cameras offline and I get a list of just those eight cameras that are offline. And then I could go ahead and dispatch maintenance personnel or do whatever it is that I need to do to get those cameras back online. Once again, to go back to the overview page, select the icon that looks like a tachometer. Moving on from the logical view section, which was our camera status, we now go to our physical view section where we have our VSM service or our Height Central server. In this case, I can see that the server is running properly, but notice it says streaming gateway here. Here, I can look at the total number of streams going into or out of my VSM service. In this case right now, it's zero. It means I'm not pulling any or pushing any video through it at this point in time. And I can see its overall status is normal. Here I have a recording server. How many do I have? I have a total number of one. Again, I can drill down and see that recording server. Go back to my logical view and notice that there are no exceptions whatsoever. Although I could, again, still drill down if I wanted to. Encoding devices. I have a total number of 24 devices. There are two offline. If I want to see which ones are offline, again, click and drill down to those devices. And finally, decoding devices. 
I have a total of one and zero offline. So some additional things that you can do within the health monitoring section, depending on the type of devices that you have connected, for example, with access control devices. When you drill down into your access control devices, you do have the ability to say, unlock a door one time or lock a door one time or set a door to remain unlocked or set a door to remain locked. It's not the area where you necessarily want to be constantly controlling your height central system. However, it does offer a little bit of additional functionality beyond just health monitoring. Now, what you're gonna be able to see and what you're going to be able to do, of course, is gonna be dependent upon the different pieces of hardware that you might have connected to your Hike Central system. For more detailed information on the health monitoring section, you can simply go from your home screen to the help section and you can download a copy of the user manual, which is gonna show up in PDF by simply clicking on the search window and typing in the word health. I can jump to the section on health monitoring, which happens to be on page number 93. So I'm just gonna double click it. And here is an entire section dedicated to showing you anything and everything there is to know about health monitoring within Hike Central. Mm -hmm.